Tomorrow morning we have a short flight into Sanford, Brisbane, and that'll be the end of the half of the flight where the, the British guys are with us. The four British guys will then pack up and ship their planes back to England, and the four Aussie guys will then continue for the rest of the loop. If we can get the remaining five aircraft in and down and safe, that, that will be um, such a relief, I think, for everybody. Yeah, we've had a few problems, mechanical problems along the way. Um, initially, Ian's radiator was, giving lots of tr radiator was giving lots of trouble, so unfortunately he didn't get it fixed properly before we left and had problems on the first day. And then the other problems have really been accidental along the way. A couple of outlandings and a couple of... Um, where the wind has just blown it over on the ground, which is unfortunate, but not mechanical anyway. So most of them have limped home so far. <laughs> it's, it's had its ups and downs. Um, there've been some disappointments. Um, I guess the major disappointment for me was um, having the trike knocked out at um, Pentland, where I came in and, um, and had it you know, knocked off course as I was landing and then got hit with another gust and I hit a tree and the rest is history. One of the, f one of the big issues for us has been the wind and we've ended up going from Perth to Brisbane where everybody now tells us you should really have been going from Brisbane to Perth. We wouldn't perhaps have got some of the problems with the winds and it may have been a bit easier on pilots and everybody um, for doing that. Actually, I've never been north of Carnarvon really in Western Australia, so it's the first time I've been up north, up towards Darwin, across the north, and certainly North Queensland. Um, I've had a fantastic time really. Just enjoyed different scenery, and certainly um, gained a lot more experience flying in different conditions. Had some pretty few hairy landings, and it's a lot more comfortable flying in all sorts of conditions now. Probably 70, seven, over 70 hours flying now, which is a uh, sometimes over a year's worth in some, for some people. So just some unexpected things that would go normally uh, from, you know, every few months has been happening every couple of days. I'm on my third service now already, <laughs> since the trip started, <coughs> which would usually be every uh, three or four months. But uh, yeah, very pleased with my track, yeah. The Australian people, the Outback people, have been so terrific to us. Um, the generosity of people, as soon as you say you're doing something for the Royal Flying Doctor Service, people, people stand up and say, we can help you, we can do this for you. Whether it's been cheaper camping or free camping or 44 gallons of fuel, whatever it's been, people have done their best. They've given us what they could and that has been outstanding. It's amazing. The people that come out of the woodwork to help you, you know, we've been very fortunate um, as far as getting, you know, accommodation along the way, people helping if there's been any problems. Um, yeah, it's amazing when you're, maybe not just RFDS, but when you're a pilot or something, there's a whole pilot community, aviation community that can help you as well. It's been, wherever you stop, people come up with, you know, given money for the flying doctor and so the generosity of people has been really good around the country, all over the countryside really. You asked for, for a donation, you know, there were hundred, you know, people just offering $100 notes and um, $50 notes without any hesitation because it was for the Royal Flying Doctor. And we've, we've collected, um, uh, I, I guess, the Australian contingent in this uh, operation has probably collected close on $35,000 now. Uh, which is, you know, I think a tremendous effort. I survived the wrong way round. So far, I have survived the wrong way round. I survived the wrong way round. I did survive the wrong way round. I survived the wrong way round. they take years to build them when we've done it in 90 minutes. Flag, airport sign, um, P2 
piano keys done at the end of the runway and outbuildings done. Any council looking for a good builders, we're here. actually be here in Sanford you know it was the the end of the, the three years of planning everything's gone into being on this field on this day and when we left Perth on the 12th of July you know to actually get the weather in your favour to arrive on the day you said you were going to arrive after five and a half thousand miles is unbelievable you know but we're here to the minute to the day we, we survived, survived the, the wrong, wrong way round, round. It feels great. I think we've achieved what we set out to achieve. Um, there's been a few wrinkles and bumps along the way um, in terms of aircraft and, and problems, but that, they were challenges and we managed to overcome them. Nice reception, lovely reception. Uh, sad it's all over. I certainly did survive the wrong way around. It was, yeah, next time, if there is a next time, we will go the right way around. But the wrong way round was a challenge and we met it. Reception here was just absolutely out of this world. Never expected this many people with this much enthusiasm. Uh, just so impressed, so pleased. Uh, John and Len have obviously put in an awful lot of work to make this happen and I'm just absolutely delighted for them as well as for ourselves in fairness. We survived, we survived the, the wrong, wrong way round. <laughs> I think uh, the guys have been absolutely inspiring. Australia is a huge, huge continent and um, the fact that they've traversed it in these little machines um, is quite amazing and I'm really appreciative of what they've done and what they're doing for the cause of leukaemia research and the, the Royal Flying Doctor Service. They've done what they set out and I'm proud of them all. Yes, yes. All of them, the whole eight. I'm really proud that they've got here, they've done it, they've raised a lot of money. Am I pleased I've done it? Absolutely. Would I change anything? <sighs> Probably not. Um, it's just been brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and I've done it. It, it is a great feeling to have actually completed the journey um, safely. No, no injuries, um, aircraft can be repeated, people um, can't be. I survived the wrong way round. Hey!